Hello, hello everyone. This is my about three month old Green J tank. We I showed you guys when I set it up. I showed you when I did my first call and added more shrimp. And now that we are getting quite a bit more shrimp in here, we're gonna go over every shrimp super, super close. We're gonna do as good of a call in as we can real quick. Now green jades are the hardest shrimp to keep clean to make to get keep making high quality shrimp. So I'll tell you what I look for when I call my green jade shrimp in this video. Stick around and see what I do. All right, first step is to throw in some algae wafers. This gets all the shrimp gathered up and it also brings out all the plecos as you can see. This will get all the shrimp gathered out front where we can more easily deal with them. Look at them gather. Look at this tank, it is doing so good. I have noticed there's a little bit of black beard algae going on here, but that is one thing with mermaid weed. It is a stem plant, but it is pretty slow growing. Now, mind you, I do snow ferts. It's just the food I throw in here and my water changes replenishing all the minerals. This green jade line is starting off a little worse than the other ones. So these guys are, there's a lot of the uh, orangish, I don't know how you describe it. And yellowy ones. There's not that many back stripe ones in here. There's a lot of brownish ones, brownish orangish. There's a ball looking ones. So we're gonna be on the hunt for those. And you can get some that are so dark, they almost turn blue. Let me pull those out. There's some really, really good ones. I'm gonna try to call this down pretty, pretty low. So we're going to be spending a lot of time getting these guys out because if you let if I let this trip only get any bigger without putting some time into it, it's going to be hard to get it right. Because when we started this, I'd actually thrown in some, there were a few times I cold my green jade tank and I started throwing them in here. And so I'd see some really nice green ones pop up. So when I restarted this tank, I took all the guppies out. I took out all the shrimp. I took out all the shrimp. Oh, we're opening on here. Yep. Yes, they're just fighting a little bit of the food. But I took out all the shrimp and I only kept the very very best few that were in here and i added some of the, some really good ones from another tank when i started this well i probably shouldn't have put left any of them in there because even though those were really good the tank was really mixed plenty of just because it was started with a bunch of coals <laughs> but i still had some really really good ones pop up in there just because of its genetics but I did not do that. So now I'm dealing with this and this line will be a little bit more work than the other green ones will be. But that's all right. Green shrimp is no joke. Green shrimp. It's really super hard. So <laughs> that is why they are so expensive. Batches of babies, there's a bunch of snowball looking shrimp because somehow, because it was just a coal tank with guppies in it. So I want, I'd go from scooping shrimp out from tank to tank and not be careful because it was just a coal tank. And there ended up being like a handful of snowball shrimp in this tank when it was full of guppies. And so then even though I only kept the very, very best ones, 
Like there's like four straight up snowball shrimp. <laughs> and the first batch of babies that was born in here. Like, oh my God. No way. <laughs> so this this one will be a little bit of work, but we'll see. This green jade line is a little bit different than the others because of that. I have cute green, the light green, ugly green, not the pretty dark green. Just gonna start working. We got a lot to take out of here. So as I see them, I'll pluck them out. If I can get two at a time, well then that's a bonus. Found these 3D shrimp nets to be good at catching baby plecos, believe it or not. Because plecos are pretty maddening to catch at times. Here's another one of them wild orange brown looking ones. It was a green jade call tank. I threw a bunch. I threw a bunch of green jade coals in here. This one is almost like straight orange. It's pretty wild. Ugly green one. And you do gotta give them some time to grow up. You don't wanna be pulling out ones that are real little, unless they're obviously horrible. But the ones that are kind of light and little, you don't want to pull borderline ones out that are still pretty little. Because they'll get better for sure. We got the one bad one in there that we want to get. Oh, there, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. The shrimp net master. Got the two good ones out of the call net and left the bad one. That, that's pretty hard to do. But got lucky. <laughs> oh, catching shrimp. You, this is, you just gotta like doing this to do what I do because this is what I spend a lot of my time doing. I really do. like I go through spells well, I just went through where we got a bunch of new stuff exciting stuff and I spent like a month worrying about getting new some new stuff going and now I say oh I gotta get back to keeping all this other stuff going so now I got a little bit of catching up to do this tank I've been wanting to do for a couple weeks so the day, about the time this video actually goes live, I will be on my way to go camping in Kentucky this weekend. That'll be fun. All the ones that have a, the ones that are kind of, the females that are kind of young and have obvious yellow back stripe. Now they all get it. Pretty much to some extent when they get super old and big. But when they're young and start getting a pronounced backstripe, then I will pull those out. Because these do get the backstripes. I've just kind of did my best to get it out. Looking one and a cute green one, a twofer. Bonus. And you know, when they're in here, when they're in here with the good ones, the ones I'm pulling out of here look absolutely horrible. But then when we dump all of these bad ones I pull out into the Skittles tank, they'll look awesome. They really will. They're like, oh man, those shrimp really don't look that bad. Oh, look, we got one that's hard to catch there. Back striper, it's really pronounced. And we'll get her. And she's got a lot of bad coloring issues going on. She's an ugly duckling. 
Yeah, more than just the back stripe. Usually, the problem with these, the ones that have the back stripe end up being the ones that get the green crayon green that everyone. I mean, that's a good dream to have. That was like an orange back stripe. That, this one is a cool looking shrimp. That's a cool looking shrimp. Hopefully that's showing up on that screen. Yeah, that's a cool looking shrimp. The two for right here, if we can get lucky. A yellow and a puke green one. I guess they're both kind of puke green looking. Let's see. This is what we've got so far. Can't really see what that's showing up on the camera that good. These are the ones we've been pulling out. I will say, probably 80% of these are males. But there are a good, there are a few good number of females in here too, so not just the males you gotta worry about. That one's just kind of weird. And it's buried. I'm not in love with it. So, take it out. They stick out. The ones that look orange or red almost. Really orangey looking. These really stand out like a sore thumb. And these are almost always males. Now some of the big wild, some of the big wild ones will be females. But it seems like most of the orangey looking ones are males. Here's a really bad one. Sticking out like a sore thumb. Get the worst ones first, and then get pickier and pickier. The perfect shrimp is the green color and no backstripe. That's what we're trying to get. <laughs> That's the rabbit we're chasing. But, um, if I was just to grab my specimen container and my net and start going at this, this would be a like an hour our project making a video and doing it it turns into a full day maybe a day and a half project <laughs> well it's really not that bad but it's not the dark deep green and it's a buried female so I definitely want to make sure we get that one out right it's buried. It's pretty good, but it's kind of blue looking. Kind of weird. But it is a great big one. Oh, it's starting to get harder to find bad ones. And I keep getting good ones in my net. That I don't want in my net. Really bad one. Yeah, get the ones like, ooh, that one's a bad one. That's too light of a green. Another buried one that's, that's too light a green. Not the super dark green that I am after. That's still, that's still a good shrimp though. But it's buried and I don't like that kind of green. But, but these green jades, you gotta be friggin' ruthless. Goodness. Well, I do have my voice back. Me and the wife caught the old COVID a while back, and I only felt bad for like two days. I just had this nagging cough, the coughing and coughing and coughing, making me lose my voice and go hoarse. And I can barely talk. I still have a little bit of that in my voice, but. That last tour video I did, my voice was shot. 
You know you're making progress when you gotta start looking to find bad ones and they're not just instant. Anytime you dip the net in there, it's like, oh, there's an obvious one. Ongoing process, obviously. In one sitting, I'm not gonna get every single one of these bad ones out and I'll never get every single one of them out. When you have these tanks with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds shrimp you'll never get every single single one out but you can here's another this blog not the kind of green I normally have yeah. no. there's a lot of them buried females that look like that and that's being super picky because that's it's just not the dark, perfect one. I'm being particularly, particularly, if I can, ruthless. Because of this tank being a little worse than I like it to be right now. Well, I'm going to pull a lot, a lot of shrimp out of here. So it's getting easier to get good ones in than bad ones. So we've at least reached that point. <laughs> it's hard to keep the good ones out just to get the bad ones. There's gonna be a lot of green shrimp in that container. We have a great big one that's like brown. That's probably where all the brown ones are coming from. Jeez. That's a huge one. I'll jump out of the friggin' net. Look at this. That is a monster shrimp. Patience. It's like Neo Caridina shrimp. And once you get everything shrimp period, once you get it all dialed in, it's easy. It's just what makes you good at it is sticking with it continuously all the time, not just saying, eh, I'm not in love with shrimp anymore. I'm just gonna let nature do its thing for a while. And like, ah, oh, a couple years later, I eh, still got some good ones in here. I'm gonna try to revive it, you know, that kind of thing. So staying on top of it, for years and years consistently. And that's where you start making progress. You're never gonna get it perfect, but you can always get it better. That's the way I look at it, is if I had to make it perfect, I would not enjoy this. You just gotta be, oh man, that's pretty dang good. <laughs> I would separate the green coals, but I don't know. Maybe someday, I don't have enough tank space for it now. But maybe someday, I would separate the green coals out and let them do their own tank. Someday, I will probably do that. But it won't be this day. There's all them red looking ones almost. Oh, oh man. That got smart. And he escaped. You gotta be smarter than the shrimp. Sometimes I'm not. All right, after <laughs> lots of calling, and am I perfect? Nope. Am I close to perfect? Probably not, per not. <laughs> but are we lots and lots and lots and lots better? We sure are. And right now, I will be working on this one continually. Uh, it's gonna be one of them tanks where 
every time I stop by and take a look, I'm going to have the shrimp net. I'm going to be dipping out anytime I see them for the next couple weeks. This tank is top of my list. I think we made a huge, huge, huge difference. You may ask, how much better did we make it? Well, we made it exactly this much better. <laughs> These are all the ones that didn't make the cut. So let's put these over here in the Skittles tank. All right, look at all of them. They look super good in here. I was like, man. With the real, against the really good ones, they look like dog crap. But you put them in here. And they look pretty good. This is a nice, good update on this 40 gallon green, ja or green jade shrimp tank. Update on the 40 gallon green jade shrimp tank. Doing good now. Yeah, it was doing good. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.